you doing well? Are you taking your time? Do you carry your heart? Heavy as mine. Are you walking the long road? Or trying to fly? Oh, I always thought you'd be the one by my side. Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I'm excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general reading. It won't resonate with each and every star, so take what does, okay, and leave the rest. If this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when I upload another reading or when I go live. And don't forget to comment down below to let me know how this reading resonates with you. And if you would like to book a personal reading with your girl, go ahead and check out my website, Goddess of Whispers. Dot com. Thank you to everyone who's booked with me. Thank you to those who are currently booked with me. And also, too, thank you to my channel members. Okay, shout out to you. Okay. And thank you to my Patreon members and also to my subscribers. Okay, those who watch my content and interact with your girl. I really do appreciate the love and support by you liking and sharing the video. All right, so we are going to get into what is coming towards you in the next Oh, no, this is not a next 24 hours reading. <laughs> what is happening in September, okay? What is coming towards you in September 2023, all right? We need to get into the vibe. We need to get into the vibe. And I do want to say to those of you, thank you so much for checking in on me. Yes, we went through Hurricane Azalea. It is still currently happening as we speak. Um, but luckily, I am in good health and I'm very grateful and unfortunate. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into this read and see what is coming towards you September 2023. All right, so let's dive in to the first half of the month's energy and see what's coming towards you. What is the energy here for the first half of the month, September 2023 for my Aquarius? What is coming towards Aquarius? Aquarius. Okay, so we have truth be told hmm, for the first half of the month for you, Aquarius. Okay, all right, we'll get into these energies here. Someone here could be revealing some things to you. Maybe you're revealing things to yourself here um, with this energy. Uh, I'm hearing cats out the bag. For some of you here, this is just about accepting something for face value, like just really and truly zooming in and saying, you know what? <laughs> it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. We're going to take it and run with it. But I feel like this first half of the month is about being knowledgeable or for some of you just being more wiser in a certain particular situation here. All right. I feel like it's just being able to gain clarity about something here. For some of you, this is through communication with someone. Okay. For some of you, this is just clarity in your life on a whole. Let me see what that is. That fell, guys. Let me see. Second half of the month, we have dancing on one foot. Mm. All right, so Aquarius, the second half of the month is about balancing, okay? This could be letting go of maybe some false beliefs that you have for some of you. This could just mean some balance being brought and restored back to your life. Okay, maybe even for some of you here, maybe being resourceful in a situation or just embracing life on a whole, like just saying yes to life on a whole here is the energy, okay? Maybe for some of you here, there's something to do with maybe get becoming more one with Mother Nature for some of you, maybe taking a trip somewhere that brings you peace, okay, that you are connecting with Earth more for some of you here, but I'm getting more of a vibe of Trying to restore your balance, okay, in the situation or trying to level things back out here in your life um, for some of you the middle of the month, okay? Let's see what's going on the last half of the month. All right, so we have Rigid was the first card that flipped, okay, and then Message flipped as well, okay, but Rigid was the first card that flipped. All right, so this energy is about... Someone being guarded towards you or you're being guarded towards someone. Okay, um, I'm seeing here being your wall is up. 
okay? Like maybe being guarded towards a situation, your wall is up here, you're feeling like you need to defend yourself. This could be you, Aquarius, okay? This could be someone else. But we're going to dive into the tarot. You know how we do. We're going to dive all the way in and see what's going on in September for you, okay? But I'm getting... Maybe this is the person that you're being guarded towards that you find out some truths about or a situation. Okay, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be a particular situation here. Um, definitely could be why you're feeling the middle of the month that you need to balance something out here. For some of you here, it's just like one foot in and one foot out of a situation. All right, maybe not knowing how to balance, find a balance between the two or trying to find a balance between the two is the message. Okay, so let's see. September 2023, what's the message? What is the message here for Aquarius? What is the message here for Aquarius? Alright, alright, thank you. First card, Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's some type of betrayal for some of you. The first half of the month is the energy with this Ten of Swords. Okay, but let's see what the other cards are. And then we could dive into this read. I'm being told to stop here. All right, Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. The Temperance card. You see how these cards is lining up, right? Exactly with the overall energy, right? I want somebody to get into this. Ace of Swords. What is the Ace of Swords? Isn't this about clarity, finding some truths, speaking some truths? First card out second half of the month is the Temperance, and that's about balance, right? Then we have the Balancing Act here. Mm, Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. Yep, your wall's up. Your wall's up. Then we have Rigid. As the overall energy, mm, eight of cups, you're walking away though. And the full card, bottom of the deck is your overall energy, which is the page of pentacles. All right, so let's get into it. We're actually going to get take the two of them. So we got, actually, we have all the pages here. That is crazy. Page of pentacles, page of swords, and the page of wands all coming through here. Okay, so let's get into this energy. I was just looking at the, the overall energy at the bottom. We've got some interesting energies there. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, all right, but let's see what's going on. So the overall energy is the Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and the Page of Swords. I feel like September has a lot to do with finding yourself in some type of particular situation here. It's almost like... You're trying to ground yourself again, okay? I feel like there's a lot of communication in a particular situation, maybe receiving communication or communicating with someone or being more communicative with yourself, okay? Or maybe even just trying to find yourself in a communicative way, okay? I feel like it's almost like there's a need for discovery or a need for redefining something in some way um for some of you here it's just about becoming more knowledgeable here in a situation is what i feel this page of pentacles is more so about focusing on grounding yourself here for some of you with this page of pentacles it could even represent like you know putting your focus on other things Okay, that is going to benefit you and to help ground you here in some way, shape or form. Okay, this page of wands is just representing like, you know, overall communication for some of you or trying to find your way in some way here with this page of wand, page of swords, very curious energy, you know, also to trying to become more knowledgeable in a particular area situation is what it is saying here for you, my aqua squad. Let's get into the first half of the month. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Again, uh, I feel like something happens here the first half of the month. Ten of Swords is showing up here very strong. Ace of Swords, your energy's here very strong, Aqua. Um, and I feel like it's just about finding some truths, okay? Or being truthful or get, getting some clarity, okay, to a situation. Like, there's some type of resolve here that is taking place here for you. And I feel like these truths that you are coming into, whether this is with yourself, particular situation, or with a person, it's it's having you refocus or 
start over in some way for some of you, maybe even pushing you towards something that is going to be more abundant for you in some way, because it's showing me here, there's a, there's a fresh start here with this ace of pentacles like it's making the choice more easier for you as far as what it is that you want to do either with your life or a situation it's it's move, pushing you towards something new something for some of for, for some of you here even something better i can't even speak okay or for some of you here you're being offered something new something better it could be more income better investment a promotion a raise new job something to do with stability here something strong with this ace of pentacles and it's representing some sort of new start fresh start here um after becoming more clear as to what this situation is like actually gaining some sort of clarity um after deciding to either walk away from something that you feel no longer serves you or has your best interest here the first half of the month. The second half of the month is the Temperance card, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Again, this is about the balancing act here for you, the middle of the month. This Temperance card is about some sort of resolve here, okay? Maybe even resolving something in a family situation for some. For some of you here, this is about finding a balance in partnering with others in some way or reconnecting with others in some way here and trying to find a balance in the situation. For some of you, this could be involved, involving a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here with this King of Pentacles. For some of you, this is about stability, okay, on a whole. On a whole, it could be financially, it could be morally, it could be domestically, but it's about finding balance and stability on a whole the middle of the month here with this King of Pentacles. Like making decisions that is truly and utterly right for you and partnering and connecting with the right people or finding some type of harmonious resolve here in a situation with this temperance card energy because this represents you know like a resolution to some sort of conflict here whether it's a relationship career or uh, just a situation here for some of you this may look like reconciliation here for you the middle of the month after finding out some truths uh at the beginning of the month here for you now, the last half of the month is the Four of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. And I see you walking away, okay? I, f I feel like this is something you decide that you have to emotionally withdraw yourself from because you realize what is being offered to you is something maybe for some of you here that you can't trust or you're unsure of. It's not fulfilling to you anymore, and it could be due to the fact that there's a lot of maybe empty promises in that situation. For some of you here, it could make you feel like this situation is not fulfilling to you in some way, shape, or form. So you're deciding that maybe for some of you that you're over it, and you don't feel like this is going to be fruitful to you in some way. I feel like for some of you here, you decide to emotionally withdraw. And we do have the fool here. And I feel like this is a big risk for you. The energy, like I said, the overall energy of the read is all the pages, right? Pages, page of swords, page of pentacles, um, and the page of wands. Very, very energetic energy, like feeling like you need to find yourself in some way. When we see the pages, it's very young energy, right? So this could be happening to someone here who is younger as well. So I want to put that out there. It could be anywhere between 20s and I would say 40s, 20s and 40s, okay? Like early 40s, okay? It doesn't have to be, but the energy is very young, vibrant, energetic, on the go, you know, feeling like this is something that you need to do in order to be a better version of yourself or to find yourself in some way, shape or form. And I see that happening here for you at the end of the month where you feel like you need to take some type of risk, chance, leap of faith here because you decide to be guarded and rigid in a situation or rigid in a situation that you feel is very unfulfilling for you. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of clarifying before we close out with your overall advice. 
Let's see. All right, clarify the Ten of Swords. Thank you. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is being clarified by the Eight of Swords. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Wands. I feel like here, and look what the next card is, the Ace of Swords. Very wild. Um, it's What it's saying here, though, is, is that there's a situation that you may be feeling like you're trapped, you're stuck, um, maybe even for some of you, there's fear in the situation. Okay. But this nine of wands is like, you're exhausted. You're overwhelmed. You're tired, um, is what it is. And you're tired of maybe for some of you here, you know, going through something that is very repetitive. Okay. That could be making you feel like it's kind of like blinding you in some way. But I feel like you make a decision. It's like you wake up, you know what I mean? You wake up, you get the clarity that you need to start something anew here. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, the first half of the month. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ooh, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this leads to some sort of new start for you in some way okay like i said it could be anything like maybe a new job new income new apartment new house you know something along the lines of stability here especially with this four pentacles showing up here for you because it's representing like you know long-term security in some way like setting yourself up for long-term security here in some way is what it's saying all right show me the ace of swords why is the Ace of Swords here? What is this truth about? What is the Ace of Swords about? Thank you. We have the Hangman. Okay, so something that is making you feel like you're not sure about anymore. It's like you're all of a sudden, the truth is you're not, unha you're unhappy. <laughs> you're unhappy in the situation and you're not sure about it anymore. For some of you, it's like, now I need to make some sort of sacrifice in order to be where I need to be. Okay. For some of you, this is about letting go, like realizing you need to let go because you could be feeling trapped here. Look at that bottom of the deck is the fool. Okay. Really like realizing that you need to take some sort of risk. Okay. In some way, shape or form here. Show me the middle of the month. Why is the temperance card here? Show me the temperance card, the middle of the, okay. What was that? That was trying to flip. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. I thought I, Come on. What's the temperance? Show me the thank you. Okay, the nine of pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the balance that is taking place here for you is all about stability. Like a fresh start is what is happening here for you. For some of you here, this could represent being single. Okay, for some of you here, this could represent just catering to yourself. Okay, like a fresh start, like as far as like being more self-sufficient in your life, enjoying the luxuries of life, just really and truly focusing on yourself here. And that's what's bringing you balance. Show me the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Show me the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Clarify the three of pentacles. Thank you. All right. So we have the five of swords with the five of pentacles. I feel like this is a situation where you're realizing like coming together or partnering in a situation. It could be even networking or collaborating for some of you here. You know, this could even mean trying to resolve some things. I feel like it's, it's making you realize that there's no winning here for you. Like this situation just brings losses. Okay. And this is why you are refocusing on yourself. Show me the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Show me the King of Pentacles. Thank you, Queen of Swords. Okay, so what it is that I'm seeing, I feel like you find a resolve here to a problem, okay? It's almost like this energy here at the beginning of the read, right? Truth be told, 
truth be told, it's like accepting something for face value, but at the same token, it's like you're being honest with yourself and you're realizing, you know, what it is that you need to do here in a situation, my Aquarius, is what it's saying. Bottom of the deck was the Queen of Pentacles, so I do want to show you guys that. I feel like for some of you here, it could be resolving something that you thought was meant to be um, and maybe realizing it's not. Okay. Um, and I feel like you're actually facing some truths here, but you've become guarded when you do face these truths. Show me the end of the month. Why is the four of cups here? Show me the four of cups for my Aquarius. Show me the four of cups. Thank you. The hermit. Look at the bottom of the deck. Seven of pentacles. Okay. With this hermit energy, you've been thinking, <laughs> You've been thinking, doesn't this person look like they, they're thinking, they're not sure? You've been thinking is what it's saying with this hermit. But you become enlightened, right? You you realize after some time, solitude, maybe needing space, contemplation, you know, not sure if something's right for you. This energy is about like not showing if you want to continue to invest into this situation anymore because this situation does nothing but bring you losses, all right? Or bring you to an emotional state where you find is not fruitful or it's not fulfilling show me the eight of cups show me the eight of cups all right so we have the six of pentacles but it came out in the reverse interesting so it's it's saying here that you realize something could be one-sided right or something is not fair in the situation and you decide to walk away from it emotionally because it's no longer serving to you uh, something could have been very selfish here or not promising here. For some of you here, this is about like not receiving maybe help or loan or whatever the case may be. You're not getting the help that you that you need in a situation or the support that you need in a situation. Show me the full card. Show me the energy of the full card the last half of the month. Okay, thank you. All right, so we have the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. I feel like, and look at that, the next card is the Six of Wands. So I feel like it's a fresh start for you, okay? I feel like you take a leap of faith. You follow your intuition in a situation. For some of you, this is about being spiritually guided um, to move towards something different. This difference looks like a new relationship for some, uh, maybe dating someone new. For some of you, this looks like you know, being inspired and actually starting something completely anew here. So new job, new project, uh, maybe creating something new. But it's showing me here that this leap of faith that you take at the end of the month is very success successful here for you, very victorious here for you, my Aquarius. So let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice. What is the advice you have for Aquarius? What is the advice you have for Aquarius? Okay, thank you. That fell right out. We have slayed them all, Aquarius. So the message here for you is I feel like you're going after everything that you want here. Okay, maybe even feeling a little wounded. But it's telling me here you realize that now is your time to stand up for yourself here in September and actually go after the things that you desire because you realize these choices, these decisions is in your hands and you can actually make some sort of change difference in a particular situation that you may be feeling it, that it was maybe hard to overcome in some point. So seeing perseverance here um, in September for you. I love you, my Aqua Squad, to the moon and back. Till next time, mwah. bye.